All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Both fighters are 28. Some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! For Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this week. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. Oh! Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Flips the punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it to. Real nice body kick lands. Head kick blocked. Yeah, 
just misses with that one. Back and forth we go here. Big knee land. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Good punch land. Head kick attempts, it's blocked. Ooh, huge body shot. You got him. Three minutes remain in the round. Big head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. I got the turnover in that kick. Not there. Beautiful left hand counter. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Leg kick. Hit him first. Nice punch lands over the top. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Hey, he's off balance. Take a shot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. There it is, take a shot now. Oh, it looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Ooh, big shot lands. <laughs> trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand on point. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Connects with a right. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Deep breath. And just like you did in training, I want you to keep up the intensity. All right, DC, second round is getting right, underway. Right. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And they separate. Superman punch is good. Oh, 
roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He blocks the punch. Look at him chopping the wood. He chopped the wood with his leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committed to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Massive head kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch land over the top. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, connects with the one-two. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice straight punch. He lands a jab there, pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, big punch land. Oh, and he caught the kick. <laughs> Lands with the right hand. And that punch, no good. Lands a switch knee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just misses with the straight right. Yeah. There you go. Look, for the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Blocks the shot. with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. What a body kick. It's a big knee! Oh, that's a nice strike. And that's the end of round number two. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty Great good fight. previous two rounds, Great. I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight for this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Right. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. So a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Good stick. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Nice job to block the kick. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Able to check that kick as well. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. That one snuck in. Nice strike. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, just misses with the kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single polo tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick lands. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
The right hand just misses. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big kick lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Now he's hooked. That's one of those shots, and if you take one of them, if you get the night, that will land you right on the spot. Nice punch lands. Punch is blocked. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Just unable to quite find that range. Big punch to the body. Just misses there with the left. Big punch lands. Ooh. Trying to hammer that lead leg. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice defense there. Huge block. There as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appears. Try to establish that jab. Head kick. Oh, collar tie. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, big head kick lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Sixty seconds now to go in the fight. Nice loop and punch. Oh, 
Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. And that one certainly found the target. Set up your leg kick. Look at that leg. Final seconds here. Just out of range with that right hook. And they set. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. The last round. He's winning the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. And let him think this last round. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Punch over the top. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. Keep going again, going again. Oh. Nice one, two there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice one, two there. the right hand there. Right under the elbow, body kick land. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Whoa! So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches, he was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop for this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by no! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.